So Fagoni and Kim racing through. Gooch on the outside. And in the end, it was uh, it was Fagoni rather than Kim who moves in front of him. Gooch throws his arms to his sides and says, what could I do? And there, there wasn't a lot. Gooch, who got lucky in the Olympics in the end, qualifies with Kim Kihun. And that's what the crowd here at Guildford think of it. No doubt that his ground was taken in that move of the final bend by Fagoni. judgment here it is once again Kim in front Gooch going wide looking for the momentum coming on the final bend and here he is really making his move on the inside Fagoni comes yes cross tracking and it looks like that was a fair decision now then the final quarter final Gagnon for Canada to Rao Japan Lee for China and Johansson for Sweden Gagnon is the world champion and goes into this as a strong favorite It's Johansson, who's had a very good sequence of races here. He leads. Lee in second place. Terrell at the back. Gagnon third. And one or two of the favourites have failed to make it through. Gagnon making sure he goes. And he pushes Terrell uh, right there. Gagnon leads. Johansson second. Johansson coming on the inside. Round the final bend. No problem. Johansson make it. And uh, Terrell and Lee Janjun fail. So, through to the semi final. Mark Gagnon and Martin Johansson. Gagnon for Canada, Johansson for Sweden. And in the end, in what looked a very tough quarter, they made it through comfortably. We move on to the men's semi-final. The first features the reigning world champion, Mark Gagnon from Canada. Frederick Blackburn, also from Canada. The world record holder, Mirko Villeman. The world record holder at 1,500 meters, Eric Flame. And Lee Jun-ho for Korea. So Villeman gets a very good start on the inside. And, uh, just about enough stamina over 500 meters to last it never he needs the lead but my word he's got it look at this from Villeman Villeman leads Blackburn in second place Flame is third Lee's fourth two laps to go and Villeman way way out in front in second place is Blackburn third is Gagnon Villeman hits the bell Blackburn second Gagnon His time, 43.74, just six and a half tenths outside his world record, and he was easing up at the end, so there could be a world record. Almost set in spinning. Blackburn and Gagnon, and it didn't look to be contact, but uh, there certainly was right there a hefty fall. Now then to the men's semi-final number two and to this semi-final up against him Kim Kihoon from Korea Derek Campbell Canada and Martin Johansson for Sweden Gooch on the outside and uh, not sure to support here in his home rink on the inside is Johansson
So it's Campbell in the last lap. It looks like Campbell and Kim are going to qualify. Johansson uh, can't quite make it. 44-24, very respectable time. But uh, Nicky Gooch for Britain, Martin Johansson for Sweden, don't make it. It's Campbell and Kim who make it through to the final, and Nicky Gooch still making his way round to pick up his seeding place for finishing. Campbell in front, Johansson second, Kim third, Gooch making his move on the inside and just unable to control it. For a moment he looked like a figure skater, but uh, there was nothing he could do, he was out of control. Must have been a nasty experience as he fought to regain control, but not able to do it. So here we go then with the final of the men's 500 meters. And uh, Kim Kihuan, the uh, 1992 world champion. Next from Canada. Frederick Blackburn. Derek Campbell. Derek Campbell. Third place in the 1500 meters. And the man who really exploded from the gun in the semi final, Mirko Villeman for Italy. Now, can he get the start he wanted? Can he get the start he got in the semi final? And can he hold on? general perception is that after about 400 meters he begins to tire and he needs to get a healthy lead second and look at the happy Canadian contingent. Villeman had to get to the first bend first and he wasn't even close. The Canadians had done for him and from then on he wasn't able to use his explosive speed. Doing all he could Villeman right the way around to fight his way to the front. Gets to the lead eventually there he gets the lead, but he's drawn wide. And Campbell takes him on the inside along with Blackburn. And again, the same thing happens at the next bit. Inside comes Villeman. But he's not able to make it. And out wide on the outside goes Blackburn. Number one won the 500 meters here. Well, I 
thought it was going to be Black Bear. He got to the corner first. But uh, Drouet just beat him to it. Black Bear taking his time. Took a look down the inside as Yumatsu now moves to the front. And uh, Blackburn from third to first. Very smoothly done indeed. At the back of the pack, Kun Yumatsu for Japan just staying with him. And the Austrian takes a look on the inside and moves up into second place. Patrick Falk. Away at the back and he moves up the inside now. And Yumatsu very wide indeed. Blackburn down into third, up into second. And uh, he knows he's got to go with Yumatsu for Japan. So Japan take up the running. Frederick Blackburn keeps his composure, four laps to go. Drouet trying to keep with Blackburn, two to qualify. And Falk out of the running. Drouet desperately trying to keep there, and he goes. So these two pretty sure to qualify, two laps to go. They don't need to race it out. Yumatsu just letting Blackburn through. He knows that uh, there's no need to make a race of it. So as they come to the bell now, Frederick Blackburn in front, Yun Yumatsu in second place. And uh, Patrick Felt right out of it, as is Drouet. Yeah. These two sure to qualify safely around the final bend. Frederick Blackburn gets there first at a time of 139.49. Followed by Yun Yumatsu. And there's confirmation of the qualifiers. Frederick Blackburn, Yun Yumatsu. And there you see it again, just getting caught in a rut. Nothing he can do, his weight's much too far back. And now the lineup for heat number two. Derek Campbell for Canada. In joint lead with Frederick Blackburn. Mark Belzebur for Holland. Igor Kutovoy for Kazakhstan. And Alexandra Mikluka for Ukraine. Kutovoy. The Dutchman, Volzebour for Canada, Campbell, and on the inner there, Nikluka for the Ukraine. So as you might expect, a good start from Derek Campbell. Again, he'll be wanting to stay out of trouble. Just uh, glances over his right shoulder. As the Dutchman, Velzebor takes a look up the inside, now onto the inner. And uh, Mark Velzebor now takes up the running. Derek Campbell wanting to go with him at the moment. And now, whoa! A scary moment there for uh, Igor Kutovoy. And uh, he remains in third place, but uh, Derek Campbell did well to keep up out of trouble as he takes up the running now. Very smoothly done indeed. So, Derek Campbell in the lead. Velzebor for Holland in second place. Kutovoy for Kazakhstan in third, and at the back of the pack, Mikluka for the Ukraine. Four laps to go. Derek Campbell for Canada still in front. Accelerating with every lap. Velzebor keeping with him. As is Kutovoy. Good support here for the Canadians. But uh, just wait till Nicky Gooch takes to the ice. So one and a half laps to go. The bell this time as they cross the line and still out in front, Derek Campbell. Velzebor in second place and Kutovoy will be looking to qualify. Now expect a challenge here as he gets to the line, but uh, well done, Velzebor. He blocked him. A very solid race from the Canadian, Derek Campbell. Mark Velzebor for Holland did well to close the door on Igor Kutovoy from Kazakhstan. Yeah, Derek Campbell a very solid race from him and you can see him just glancing over the right shoulder as the Dutchman goes from left to right and uh, just closes the door on the man from Kazakhstan Igor Kutovoy 
Canadians safely through. Remember this race, absolutely vital to the overall championship. Joint leaders Frederick Blackburn for Canada, Derek Campbell for Canada, and Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea, who will be going in heat number five, heat number three. Five runners in this one. Razio Fogoni for Italy, 25 year old from uh, Catania, and Satoru Tarao for Japan. Just 18 years of age. Michael McMillan for New Zealand, the world record holder, which stands at 128.47. Now 29 years of age. And uh, Bertram Frudel for Germany. And finally, Matt Orgil Bachelon from Mongolia. And Mongolia really was so pleased to qualify for the Winter Olympics. Didn't make the qualifying time. Something like a, a nine-day train journey back to Mongolia, where he was told he'd finally been given qualification for the Winter Olympics and uh, had to get back on the train. Travelled all the way back to Lillehammer and took part in the Winter Olympics, being uh, Mongolia's only contestant there in this year's Winter Olympic Games. And he's at the back of the pack at the moment. Tarao for Japan is in front. Tall, distinguished figure of Michael McMillan, the world record holder, in third place, just uh, taking a look over the shoulder of Arazio Fagoni. Fagoni with one point to his credit, with a fourth placing in the 1500 meters. Looking to do better here. Tarao out in front, Fagoni going with him, McMillan in third. So the pace really hotting up now. Angelou and Frugel keep it with them, but uh, the front three now starting to pull away. Tarao, Fagoni, McMillan, Frugel in fourth place. Two laps to go. Fagoni holds off. Tarao as they come to the bell now. So Fagoni looking very solid indeed. McMillan takes a look on the inside. He needs a good final bend. Fagoni, Tarao. McMillan's not going to make it. Michael McMillan doesn't qualify. The world record holder. Razio Fagoni for Italy gets through, as does Satoru. Tarao for Japan. He ships at this distance. Doesn't make it. In confirmation of that, Orazio Fagoni, Satoru Tarao qualify. Well, now the skaters for heat number four make their way to the start. And we have ki Kim for Korea. Eric Flame, the 26-year-old from Milwaukee for the United States of America. Kieran Hansen for Austria, now 22 years of age from Sydney. And finally, Andre Kolub from Russia. And uh, Kim Ki-hoon has uh, two points so far in these championships with a third place in the 500 meters. Won the bronze medal in the 1993 World Championships. So safely away first time. And Kim Ki-hoon takes up the running. Gulub for Russia. Now it is. Who's up on the outside? But, uh, Kim Keeping out of trouble, Eric Flame down in third place. Now, Kieran Hansen for Australia takes up the running. He's got a little bit of a gap there, but uh, Kim starting to reel him in with six laps to go. Eric Flame in third place. Got Russia at the back of the back of the moment. Kim in front now. With Hansen in second place, Flame in third. Golub in fourth. Kim looking very strong. Australian Kieran Hansen staying with him. Eric Flame just uh, nestling in in third. Three laps to go. And the pace beginning to accelerate. Hansen takes a look on the outside. Almost losing his footing there. Eric Flame still in third place. Two and a half laps to go. So the order remains the same. Kim in front. Hansen looks down the outside. Flame stays with him. It'll be the bell this time. Kim still dictating the pace of the race. Hansen in second place. Flame takes a look down the inside. Flame trying to come through. Will he make it? Flame gets through on the inside. 
Hansen almost loses his footing. It looks as though the Korean and the American are going to qualify. Kim qualifies, as does Eric Klein for the United States of America. Marvellous move from him, knocking out Kieran Hansen for Australia. And uh, Andre Golub for Russia, unable to keep with the pace. But uh, Eric Flame has been disqualified. And it must be for that move on the uh, uh, final bend. So that means that uh, Kieran Hansen will qualify in that. Che Ji Hoon. Australia, Richard Nedzilski, Randy Bartz for the United States of America, and Tibor Kun Balint for Hungary. Che in second place, Bartz in third, at the back of the pack at the moment. Nedzilski, 25 year old from Queensland. Winner of a bronze medal in last year's World Championships in the relay. But, uh, still out in front. Tibor Kunbalint. And uh, Che Ji Hoon. His joint leader here with uh, Campbell and Blackburn after his victory in the 1500 metres. Just uh, keeping his cool in second place. Tibor takes a look around and now Che makes his move on the inside. Che out in front. The American goes with him. Randy Bartz in second place. The Australian takes a look down the outside. Nadelski into second place. And uh, now Randy Bartz, can he keep with the pace? Chagey Hood looking very strong indeed. Richard Nazilski still in second place. Randy Bartz has caught up with him with two laps to go. These three well out in front of Tibor Kumbalint, who looks out of the running at the moment. So Chagey Hood will be first at the bell. Richard Nazilski in second place. Randy Bartz with a lot to do in third. Can Richard Nazilski close the door on him and the American fall? So uh, Randy Bartz out of it. And uh, quite easy qualification at the end of the day for Chagey Hood and Richard Nazilski for Australia. First in the 1500 metres, will it be first in the 1000 metres? A long way to go there, Richard Nazilski. Qualifies in second place. Now just looking at the fall again, Randy Barnes there at the back, trying to put the pressure on. You can see Richard Nazilski looking very composed, just tucked in behind Che Ji Hoon. And there just clips a block, and uh, well, his chances of qualification out of the window in a split second. And we look at it again from another angle. And just watch the skaters trying to get close to the blocks where the ice is cleaner. And, oh, dear me. Looked as though his skate just went across a rut. And uh, heat number six. And uh, there the lineup. Mark Gagnon for Canada. Lee Yun Ho for Korea. Geert Blanchard for Belgium and uh, Jan Hugovine for Holland. Mark Gagnon, just uh, 18 years of age. Three points to his credit for the second place in the 1500 metres and uh, at the back of the pack at the moment. World Championships, Gagnon is uh, the winner of this event. And, uh, showing his prowess there, right to the front of the pack. So, Gagnon in front, with Blanchard in second place, Lee in third, and now just uh, taking a look down the outside, and uh, he takes up the running with six laps to go, so Hugovin for Holland in front, Gagnon for Canada in second place, Lee at the back of the pack with uh, Blanchard in third, Lee now makes his move up into second place, just in front of Gagnon, and right to the front of the pack, taking up the lead from uh, Hugovain from Holland. Now, Mark Gagnon wants to keep Lee Juho, and it's uh, Lee Juho for Korea in front. Mark Gagnon going with him, and these two now open up quite a lap with three laps to go. So the two leaders looking very, very smooth indeed. A completely different class to the other two skaters. Uh, Hugovin right at the back of the pack. Here's Blanchard in third place as they take the bell. So Lee Junho in front. These two not really needing to make a race of it. Mark Gagnon in second place. And uh, there's your two qualifiers from heat number six. Lee Junho, 25 years of age from Seoul. Won a bronze medal in the 1,000 metres 
in the Albaville games. Inside lane, officials doing a sterling job here. Well, in fact, it's uh, not Elkerton on the inside. <laughs> Bradbury for Australia on the end. And Elgerton, Bradbury takes it very, very easy as uh, Bjorn Elgerton takes it up the run. Stephen Bradbury at the back of the pack. Johansson in second place with uh, Mirko Wolfman, the flying Italian, in third place. Very uh, distinctive Swiss outfit there, worn by uh, Martin Nicklaus. Just Head of Bradbury. So six and a half laps to go. And still Bjorn Alberton in front with Martin Johansson for Sweden in second place. And uh, Bullimuk now taking a look down the inside. Johansson wanting to get that lead. It is slots in front of Elton. Oh, Bullimuk nearly went there. Did well to keep his balance. It's not been a good week for the Italian. He'll be looking to put that behind him and qualify here. Four laps to go. Still Johansson in front. Then Elgerton. Bullerman takes a look on the inside. Bullerman now up into second place. So Bjorn Elgerton going with them. Stephen Bradbury now moving up into third. Bullerman still in second place. Johansson looking very good indeed as they come round to take the bell. It's a lap and a half to go. Johansson it is in front. Bullerman takes a look down the inside. Bradbury on the outside. So Bullerman in second place. Stephen Bradbury for Australia in third. Bullerman now looks down the inside. It's going to be very close for that second spot. The Bradbury is he going to get there? My goodness, sort that one out if you can. But it looked to me as though uh, Martin Johansson definitely qualified. A good time, 134.90. But my word, the second spot, very, very close indeed. A real scramble for the line. So the Swede out in front, Martin Johansson. Vullerman looking down the inside. Stephen Bradbury deciding to take the outside line. So Johansson in front. Bradbury on the outside, a real scramble. And Bjorn Elgerton doing very well coming up the inside. And I think he probably got there. And Martin Johansson and confirmation there on your screens so Bjorn Elgerton does qualify British and European champion bronze medal winner in the 500 metres in uh, the Lillehammer Games was a finalist in the 1000 metres and then some of the supporters finished 5th in the 1500 metres but uh, fell in the 500 here at these world championships there's the lineup, Nicky Gooch for Great Britain. Yan Yun Lee for China, Andrew Nicholson for New Zealand, and Sergei Kobizev for Russia, the 20 year old from Omsk. Nina, Lee, Yan Yun for China, and Nicholson for New Zealand. Next to Gooch, Kobizev for Russia. Deathly hush in the stadium. All safely away. Well, tremendous support for Nicky Gucci here. We really want to see him do well. As uh, number 23, Li Yan Yun for China, takes up the running. And, uh, Andrew Nicholson in second place. Nicky Gucci down in third. Seven and a half laps to go. Back of the pack, Sergei Kovacev for Russia. Andrew Nicholson takes a look down the inside and he takes up the running. Nicky Gooch moves up to the second place, William in first. Moves down the outside. Great roar goes up in the stadium as Nicky Gooch goes into the lead. The Russian there, Kovacev, moves up into third. And uh, Lee at the back of the pack. Nicky Gooch out in front. Andrew Nicholson now taking a look down the inside. Gooch very wide. Slots back across. And uh, looking very smooth. Nicholson keeping a tight line. Gooch very wide, keeping his speed the turning you see Andrew Nicholson having to work very hard and right down to the back of the pack now Sergei Kovacev it is in second place with Lee Yan Yun for China in third now the Russian out in front Kovacev moves in front of Gooch with two laps to go Gooch in second place will Lee Lin Yan Yun take it from Gooch Gooch now looks on the inside can he take up the lead Not an easy race, and 
but my word, he kept his head well there. Well, not an awful lot of people in the stadium at the moment, but uh, my word, the few that were here are all behind that young man. And uh, when the chips were down, he delivered. Puts his top on, a job well done. And now we can see in the lead, Sergei Kobizev for Russia. 20-year-old from Omsk. Nicky Gooch takes a look down the inside. Roots his teeth. And just nips inside the Russian. And then I'll never look back. Number 23 there. He, Yan Yun, tries to get up inside, but uh, once again, Nicky Gooch turns the screw and pulls away. A very majestic performance there. scramble at that point for that second place in the quarterfinals which will be coming right up after the players quarterfinals Just had confirmation that uh, Kim So-hee and Yang Yang did qualify in that last quarterfinal of the ladies' competition. So no qualification for Sylvie Daigle. So the lineup for the men's first quarterfinal, 1,000 metres. Frederick Blackburn for Canada. Nikki Gooch for Great Britain. Richard Nazilski for Australia. And Bjorna Elgerton for Norway. Elgerton is 22 years of age from Lawrence Cobb. Fabulous performance from him in Lily Hammer. And uh, he moves around the outside to take up the running. Nicky Gooch in second place. Frederick Blackburn in third. And at the moment, Richard Nazilski at the back of the pack. Frederick Blackburn, winner of the uh, silver medal in the Albertville Olympics in the 1,000 metres. But still, Bjorna Elgerton out in front. He glances across as uh, Blackburn now makes his move. And Gooch is down. Can he get back up? Well, no, Gooch is out of it. Well, what a disappointment for him. Bjorna Elgerton out in front. Frederick Blackburn in second place. Richard Nazilski in third. Two to qualify, four and a half laps to go. Bjorna Elgerton still controlling the race. Frederick Blackburn just keeping in the slipstream. And Richard Nazilski. The gap growing there between these three. Blackburn now looks down the outside. Almost coming round to lap Nicky Gooch. And Blackburn powering down that straight. One and a half laps to go. Still in second place. Elgerton holds on. Nazilski takes a look at the inside. Well, Blackburn needs to draw on his resources now. Nazilski looks tight. Blackburn down the inside. And did he read that race well? Frederick Blackburn for Canada wins. And look at that. Fiona Elgerton dives for the line. The 22-year-old from Lawrence Cobb qualifies in second place. So Richard Nazilski, the 25-year-old from Queensland in Australia, doesn't qualify, along with Nicholas Gooch. Well, Gooch completes the distance, and uh, the crowd appreciate that. He fell in the uh, 500 and uh, went down again in the 1,000 metres. Finished fifth in the 1,500 metres. There's confirmation of the qualifiers. Frederick Blackburn for Canada. And uh, Bjorna Elgerton for Norway. And we see Elgerton out in front. Zinski moving across in front of Nicky Gooch there. And Frederick Blackburn, well, for the latter stages of this race, really was on the limit. And, uh, well, it looked to me there as though Nicky Gooch just caught Richard Nazilski's left skate. Look at it again from a different angle. 
just uh, uh, well we couldn't see the feet there but uh, I thought for a moment I think he was going to get back to his feet but uh, the ice so smooth and fast unable to get any grip at all well that picture says it all desperate disappointment now Skaters line up for the second quarterfinal. There's the lineup. Derek Campbell for Canada. Lee Yun Ho for Korea. Lana for China and Kieran Hansen for Australia. With the Canadian out in front, Derek Campbell. Hansen in second place. And Lee just makes his move now. Goes from third to first. Eight laps to go. In front, Derek Campbell in second place. Campbell takes a look down the inside and he takes up the running now. Yorda, Campbell, Lee, and watch the Australian moving down the outside. Kieran Hansen wants to take up the running. Derek Campbell accelerates down the straight. Campbell in second place. Korean in third. Now Campbell back in front with four laps to go this time, and my word, well, he did well to stay on his feet. That's Yan Yun Lee. Well, he's out of it. Remember, two to qualify. Three laps to go. Derek Campbell out in front. Lee Yun Ho for Korea now takes up the running with Kieran Hansen down in third. One and a half laps to go. The bell this time. Lee Yun Ho for Korea in front. Derek Campbell, head down. Kieran Hansen in third place, a lot to do. Campbell looks down the inside, but Lee closes the door. Hansen sprints for the line. But uh, Derek Campbell made sure. Well, a spirited effort there from Kieran Hansen. But uh, Derek Campbell looked to me to get there first. And that was pretty crucial because he's joint leader with uh, Chang Ji Hoon and his teammate Frederick Blackburn all on five points Derek Campbell third in the 1500 second in the 500 and then confirmation of the qualifiers closes the door on Kieran Hansen so now the uh, third quarterfinal Chang Ji Hoon from the Republic of Korea Mark Gagnon for Canada Satoru Torao for Japan and Mark Velzibur for Holland Torao on the inner then it's Holland Korea Canada on the outer, and uh, they take up the running with Mark Gagnon, the 18-year-old from Montreal, the 1993 world champion. Gagnon lying in fourth place, going into this final distance, and Terrell, my word. A nice drink turn of speed there from Satoru Terrell. Six and a half laps to go. Gagnon in second place. Velzebor in third in the career. Cheji Hoon at the back of the pack at the moment. Cheji Hoon, winner of the 1500 meters. And look at him go up the inside. So now Cheji Hoon in second place. And Mark Gagnon going with him. Velzebor being left behind. A gap opening up. Cheji Hoon looking down the inside. Oh, indeed. Changi Hoon in second place as they come to Bell the Bell. Mark Velzebor in third. And Satoru Torao perhaps went off too quickly at the beginning of the race. It's going to be Changi Hoon who gets there first. Mark Gagnon in second. Then Mark Velzebor for Holland. And uh, Satoru Torao. The last man over the line. Well, he went off so quickly. Changi Hoon. What a turn of speed from that man. Confirmation of the qualifiers there. Along with uh, Mark Gagnon for Canada. The reigning world champion. The final quarterfinal in the men's 1,000 metres. And 
better in this lineup. Kim ki for Korea. Fogoni for Italy. Johansson for Sweden. And Yumatsu for Japan. Kim ki for Korea. Flying in third place, the fastest qualifier. But, uh, out in front. Martin Johansson. And uh, Orazio Fogoni. Locked in second place. Kim ki in third and at the back of the pack. Hoon Yumatsu for Japan. Seven laps to go. So nobody wanted to take it up. The Korean starts to accelerate. And uh, Yumatsu responds. He looks up the inside. He goes into third place. Fagoni now takes up the running. Martin Johansson into second place. Yumatsu in third. And Kim ki -hoon blistering down the outside. And Kim ki -hoon right to the front of the field now with four laps to go. Fagoni still in second place. Johansson in third. Yumatsu at the back of the pack. And there seems no way through for him at the moment. Fagoni down in third place. Tries to get through inside Johansson. Johansson closes the door. Kim ki -hoon reading the race well. Two laps to go. Fagoni at the back now. Yumatsu in third. Johansson in second. Kim ki -hoon for Korea. Out in front. Yumatsu down the outside. Fagoni keeps the line on the inside. Trying to get inside Martin Johansson. The bell. as though he gave up on that final bit. For the last three laps, tried so hard. The time there, 139.43. Not really irrelevant. And yet confirmation of the qualifiers. Even Kim for Korea and Martin Johansson. So we move on now to the first of the men's semi-finals in the 1,000 metres. And uh, what a lineup that is. For Canada, Derek Campbell. For Korea, Kim Ki-hoon. And Mark Gagnon for Canada. And Bjorna Elgerton, the 22-year-old from Lawrence Cog. So it's Elgerton on the inner lane there. And Derek Campbell. And Kim ki -hoon. And on the outside, Mark Gagnon, the world champion. And again, two to qualify, through to the finals. So as we've seen in just about every race that uh, Fiona Elton's been in, he takes up the early running. Just looking back, it's Mark Gagnon into second place with uh, Derek Campbell in third and uh, Kim ki -hoon at the back at the moment. So the two Canadians in second and third. Fiona Elgerton still out in front with five and a half laps to go. Elgerton. Very strong indeed, but uh, my word, has he got some talent behind him there in the shape of those two Canadians and indeed Kim ki -hoon. Four laps to go now. Elton still out in front with Derek Campbell in second place. Mark Gagnon, the world champion, in third. Kim ki -hoon for career at the back, two and a half laps to go. Now the Canadians make their move. Derek Campbell out in front. Mark Gagnon goes with him, as does Kim ki -hoon. from them. Mark Gagnon, the world champion, qualifies for the finals, as does his teammate Derek Campbell. And they really didn't give Kim ki -hoon anywhere to go at all. Bjorn Elgerton, again, a spirited performance from him, taking up the running final.
And there, the lineup. Frederick Blackburn for Canada. Jihoon Jae for the Republic of Korea. Yoon Ho Lee for Korea. And Martin Johansson for Sweden. Frederick Blackburn. Silver medal winner in the 1,000 meters in Alberville. In joint lead at the moment in this competition. Tying with Derek Campbell and uh, Che Jihoon. So an awful lot at stake here in this second semi-final. Just nips in front. Martin Johansson for Sweden. Now taking up the running, Frederick Blackburn in second place. With Lee Jun Ho for Korea in third. And at the back at the moment, Che Ji Hoon also for Korea. So seven laps to go. Frederick Blackburn glances over his right shoulder. Down the outside of Martin Johansson as Lee Jun Ho comes through into second place. Frederick Blackburn looking a little anxious just behind him. Jay Ji Hoon and the pace. Wickets. Ah, oh, laps to go. And Lee Jun Ho goes and the two fallers there. So, left in the race, Frederick Blackburn and Jay Ji Hoon. And uh, they can take it easy now. So, three laps to go. Frederick Blackburn on five points going into this semi-final, as is Che Ji Hoon. So, these two sure to qualify. Just taking it easy, leaving plenty of energy left for that final. So, it looks as though there'll be three Canadians in the final. Uh, Blackburn just leading the way home. Che Ji Hoon there in second place. And uh, there's your two qualifiers. Obviously a very slow pace. But uh, no need to waste any energy there. So the qualifiers, Derek Campbell for Canada, Mark Gagnon for Canada, Frederick Blackburn for Canada, and Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea. So we'll take a look back at that incident between Lee Jun-ho and uh, Martin Johansson. Lee Jun-ho on the inside there, putting the pressure on, and Johansson losing his footing, perhaps uh, just putting a bit of pressure on Lee Jun-ho's right leg. pound into the boards. Good padding here at uh, the Guildford Spectrum. And there, Blackburn must have uh, breathed a sigh of relief that he wasn't uh, any closer to those two because he could easily have got caught up in that incident. So, yeah, a nasty impact there from Martin Johansson. Uh, Lee Jun Ho is in fact disqualified. And there, Martin Johansson gets a place in the final, I believe. For Canada, Frederick Blackburn for Canada, Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea, and Martin Johansson for Sweden. take to the ice for their final and that the lineup Mark Gagnon for Canada Frederick Blackburn for Canada Derek Campbell for Canada Ji Hoon Che for the Republic of Korea and Martin Johansson who really has skated his socks off in these championships getting into this final by the skin of his teeth so five qualifiers in the men's competition 
who knows perhaps it'll be a one two three for canada but uh, keep your eye on changing the korean the winner of the 500 meters hendrick blackburn silver medal winner in the alberville games world champion mark gagnon he won't give that title up easily so the stage is being introduced now number 76 from sweden martin johansson and there we're at number 66 Cheji hu from the republic of korea number 19 for canada derek campbell the world champion Mark Gagnon. There we go on the outer lane. Wearing number 18, Frederick Blackburn. Campbell and Blackburn locked together at the top of the table with Chagey Hoon after two days of racing. So a lot at stake here. So they're off, and again, the Swede takes the lead, Martin Johansson. Three Canadians locked together, and now Derek Campbell takes up the running. Frederick Blackburn in third place, with Mark Gagnon at the back of the moment. Three Canadians, Jamie Hewn at the back of the back at the moment, as the Swede goes out in front again. Martin Johansson. Mark Gagnon now in second place. Derek Campbell moves up. A sneaky little move from him. Mark Gagnon going with him. So the three Canadians out in front. The lead changing all the time. So Derek Campbell in front. Mark Gagnon in second place. Blackburn in third. Derek Campbell, Mark Gagnon. Three laps to go. Now Mark Gagnon takes the lead. Derek Campbell in second place. Gagnon grits his teeth. He's tired. Two and a half laps to go. Mark Gagnon still out in front. Derek Campbell looking very good for this second place. And now Frederick Blackburn makes his move. On the inside. Mark Gagnon still in front. Blackburn in second place. Derek Campbell trying to get him on the inside. So there, the winner of the men's 1,000 metres, Mark Gagnon for Canada. And uh, there was no love lost between the Canadian team there. A really aggressive end to an exciting race. Mark Gagnon wearing number 20. He really did command the latter stages of the race. Frederick Blackburn in second place there with Derek Campbell just behind him. And Campbell going down. Well, no doubt about a worthy winner there. And you can see the commitment from Derek Campbell. Up of the men's 3,000 meters. The three Canadians at the top of the park Frederick Blackburn, Derek Campbell, and Mark Gagnon. The two Italians. Mark Big cheer goes up. Derek 
third Canadian in this lineup. So the three strongest nations in uh, men's short track speed skating, Canada, Italy, and Korea. So Frederick Blackburn starting at the back of the pack, and this uh, a little quicker, I thought, than the uh, ladies' race. But, uh, not to be again. Cat and Mouse, and J.G. Hoon for Korea, goes into the front with Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place. And now Kim ki just moving up the outside. Starts to take up the running. So it'll be uh, 25 laps as they cross the line. Now Korea in first and second, Canada in third, and Italy, two more Canadians. And uh, Mirko Bulleman, world record holder in 500 metres at the back of the pack at the moment. And, uh, the situation going into this race. It's Mark Gagnon. He's eight points along with uh, Frederick Blackburn. Uh, Campbell has seven points. And uh, Che ji for Korea has six. So an awful lot at stake. It's 3,000 meters. 21 and a half laps to go. Turn out in front, Che ji for Korea. And Derek Campbell for Canada. Followed by Frederick Blackburn and Mark Gagnon. And the two Italians led by uh, Orazio Fagoni, followed by Mirko Bulleman. Uh, now, Kim Ki Hoon just uh, splitting, splitting up the two Italians there. So, still out in front, Che Ji Hoon. 19 laps to go when they cross the line. Che Ji Hoon dictating the pace of the race. As now Kim Ki Hoon comes up to the front as do the two Italians now. The race being led by Orazio Fagoni for Italy. Marco Bulleman slots in at the back again. Injection of pace and uh, the Italian slowed it down once more. Second place Kim Ki Hoon. Third, Frederick Blackburn. Fourth, Che Ji Hoon. And fifth, Mark Gagnon. That's Wooleman. Uh, and at the back of the pack, Derek Campbell. Horazio Magoli slowing this race down. 15 laps to go. Uh, you almost think they're having a conversation out there. So now it's Italy, first and second. So in front, Mirko Bulleman, followed by teammate Orazio Fagoni. Just in behind there, the leading Canadian, Mark Gagnon. Followed by number 18, Frederick Blackburn. It's now the Koreans make a move, and Che Ji Hoon. The Italians block the field, glance across. This a very tactical race indeed. Twelve laps to go. Still Fagoni out in front, and now Chen Hoon for Korea takes up the running. Frederick Blackburn just slotting into second place there. And now Derek Campbell makes a move from the back of the pack to take up the lead. Perhaps start to stretch them out with 10 laps to go. And once again, Bulleman moves up the inside. Magoni up the outside. Italy, one and three, no four. Smooth move from Frederick Blackburn. He goes up the inside, up the outside comes Mark Gagnon. Now number 66 takes up the running Che Ji Hoon. And a little bit of a gap opening up with eight laps to go. Frederick Blackburn and Mark Gagnon go with the Korean. 
Blackburn in second place, Gagnon in third, out in front still, Kim K. 